Yeah, for now, I'm going to be concentrating on uh, getting through the Assassin's Creed, Batman Arkham, and... Uh, res or no. Hold on, let me, let me freeze that. Right now, I'm going to work on getting through the Assassin's Creed, Batman Arkham, and Castlevania games. Those are the three series I, I want to try to get through. Oh, that's all right. Okay, source in seven or file seventeen found. Royal playground weapon. I welcome. Does that mean I got any new audio files? A killer is a killer is a killer. You think it matters to the victim or their families if he claims that he's insane? No. I'm not making special exceptions for all of these freaks that seem to be popping up. This one was trying to play the system just like the rest of them. Feigned insanity is no defense in my courtroom. You don't think it's a little... blatant? I mean, with his obsession for the holidays. In this city, they'll love it. Poetic justice, I say. All right. Well, Christmas Eve it is then. Excellent. I'm throwing a little Christmas party that night. We're going to watch the execution from my home. You should come by. Bring your wife. Pick up your gift. I'll do that. And make sure you have something for my wife, too. She likes diamonds. Hmm. And they told me you were soft. Hmm. Yeah. Sounds like even the judge is corrupt, too. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. A lot of high-ranking officials, and most of the GCPD are all corrupt at this at the moment. So yeah, um, I'm not going to really spoil too much about Batman Arkham Origins, but I will say it takes place... Um, two years into Bruce Wayne being Batman. And... Uh, most of the GCPD is corrupt, and a lot of the high-ranking officials in Gotham are also corrupt. And, uh... Yeah, a lot of, like, so basically the police department and Gordon, or Commissioner Gordon, and a lot of people don't really have a lot of faith in Batman yet. That's all of the uh, Enigma data packs um, in the Gotham Royal Hotel. Yeah, um, Black Mass is actually one of the main villains, and he um, he's he's hired eight assassins to try to take out Batman. Is a fifty million dollar bounty on him. And things get chaotic as uh, let me see. So like, so Black Mass put up. I'm, like this isn't really a big spoiler. This is something you'll learn right, like right in the very beginning of the game. So, but um, anyways, Black Mask has a fifty million dollar bounty on Batman, and uh, the assassin or somebody has in order to get the bounty, they have to capture or kill Batman. By the uh, the end of the night, or by Christmas or something like that, and um, as the day progresses, things get a lot more chaotic. As 
the different these different villains are trying to get Batman's attention. And that's actually really cool. Yeah, but for not being the not for not being the original developer, I got to give WB Montreal a lot of credit. They did a really good job um, handling the uh, the series. So, um, Rocksteady is the one that developed developed Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and well, Arkham Knight. So they're the they're the main developer. And then uh, WB Montreal uh, stepped in to work on Batman Arkham Origins and also Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate for the uh, for the Nintendo DS and PSP, I believe. I could be wrong on that though. I can't remember which handhelds it was on, but I'm pretty sure it was those two. It did get it, get, it did get later remastered for um, consoles, but uh, anyways, supposedly there's another Batman Arkham game in the works, and it's going to be developed by people believe it's going to be developed by WB Montreal. Yeah, I completely agree. I think Rocksteady... I would like to see Rocksteady move on. Because uh, Rocksteady already said they're done with Batman Arkham games. They're not going to make any more... They're not going to develop any more Batman Arkham games. But uh, I would I would love to see them move on to uh, other uh, superhero games. Okay, so... Let's scan the corpse in the GCPD morgue. So I gotta go down into the sewers. So let me see. Got 15 more Enigma data packs to get, and then whatever is in Gotham Pioneers Bridge, which I can't get to yet. Alright. Hold on that all those collectibles are out of the way. Let's go ahead and go into the GCPD and continue with the story. Oh, I spotted him. <laughs>
They won't even let me do my specials. Lame. Yeah, I didn't feel like uh, taking my time in hiding. I should enter the sewers from where I came out last time I was in the GCPD. My board is lit up. If you don't have an assignment, please report in. I mean, I, 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 I already, I already own Arkham Knight. I just gotta get, a, I gotta make my way to it. Maybe the glue grenade can stop the steam here. Okay. Yeah. I gotta redo that. Damn it. There we go. Shit. Yeah, I have it for Xbox. Yeah, I just need to get around to playing it sometime. But like I said, I'm, I'm going to be alternating between the Assassin's Creed games and the Batman Arkham games. I don't want to go through all of it too much at once. So I don't get burned out. Especially the Assassin's Creed series. As much as I enjoy that series, there's so many games. I, I got to kind of break it up a little bit with some other series.
Oh, damn it. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it put me back up here. That's cool. Alright, so that's less backtracking for me. Okay, there we go. Batman online co-op game. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I would feel about that, actually. I don't know. I mean, I'd probably, I'd probably prefer it as a single-player experience, to be honest. But, um... And like an online, like a co-op, like a co-op campaign would be cool though. I, I did really like in Batman Arkham City, where there were sections in the game where you would, uh, work alongside like another, someone else, like fighting alongside Bane or uh, Nightwing and stuff like that, that was really cool. And I think there's a lot more of that in Arkham Knight, too. I mean, I guess it could be done right. Oh, yeah, they did have a co-op campaign for, um, what was it, Arkham, or not Arkham, Assassin's Creed Unity. It seems like a lot of fun. I'll go into Morgan in a second. I think that's the way I'm supposed to go, though. Storm sewer. Sewer runoff. Yeah, I don't like ads either. What, are you getting Twitch ads or something? I have no control over that. Yeah, I mean, I have no, I have no control um, on the ads. That's that's Twitch's side of things. I always have like ads disabled for anything like that I or any content I put up. Since I'm still a uh, pretty small content creator.
Oh, it looks like I can come back here. Yeah, last time I was here, this place got locked down. And I ended up getting chased out of here. What's funny though is, like, even though I got chased out of here, there was like a ton of, there was a ton of, uh, I, I can't remember if it was SWAT, but there was a ton of GCPD officers, uh, with, uh, with art, or with guns, and, um, they chased me out of here, but I actually stuck around and fought all of them. I think there was like, at least 12 guys with guns. <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of ridiculous to try to fight them. Yeah, I completely... It, it's, it really is difficult to um, become a big YouTuber or a big content creator on Twitch. Big streamer, big YouTuber. But... Eh. Doesn't matter to me. I, I enjoy I enjoy the uh, live interaction anyway, so Doesn't matter to me if I become a big success or not. But I figure I I figured if I'm gonna be you know, if I'm gonna be a content creator and I'm still small, I'd rather not have ads, so I don't turn away any potential like um, audience or new audience members. At least until I build up a like a good good audience size. I think that's the best way to go about that. I just don't see a point on putting ads on my YouTube videos. If I'm not going to really get that many people, if I don't have that many people watching yet, I'm not really going to make any money from it. Proud to serve. Yeah, I mean, I like... I don't care if I become, like, real big off of it, but uh, I would like to make a living off of it. Oh no, I just repeated what I said. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you're right. Every, everybody has to have their own kind of... Uh, either have some kind of wide appeal or have their own niche. And... Things I've always been interested in. I've always been interested in watching... Um, content creators, or like anybody that streams, or... A YouTuber that's informative and um, has an interesting personality. I also really enjoy watching speed runs and um, I've always been a fan of uh, being a completionist in games. Just about every game I play, I play it all the way through. Till, until completion, no matter how difficult the game is. And I've uh, had some very difficult games I've completed over the years. And how do I get up there? Oh wait, there's... okay. I know, I know what this is. Okay, so this is um, a ventilation shaft I went through earlier, so... Alright, so I'm gonna backtrack through here.
wish this door wasn't locked. Oh, I did. Wait. Derp. I did activate that, uh, security console. Okay, I'm getting myself confused. Okay, um... <sighs> Place is like a maze. Guess it wouldn't be a Batman Arkham game without... Pass Elite all around. Oh wait, there we go. Yeah, I was just over here. All right, so I gotta go through the maintenance access, and then I think I can go through there. Yeah, I think we're good now. Starting to feel like Arkham Asylum at the moment. Arkham Asylum has like really like enclosed areas. Trying to navigate navigate around um, Arkham Asylum is crazy at times, especially like early on when you're trying to get or get your bearings and try to figure out where to go, and especially when. Um, you're trying to get collectibles and you can't figure out why you can't get a collectible then you realize that you have to come back to it later with a with a new gadget Yeah, I mean, I'm generally I'm generally good about finding my way around. Sometimes, if I'm not paying attention, I'll get mess I'll, me I'll get messed up and get lost a little bit. See, see what I mean? Like, oh, no, can't go through there. That door's that you can't even go through this door. This door is locked. You gotta go up over the side. You gotta go through this tunnel or this tunnel. You gotta go through this ventilation shaft. It's <laughs> this area reminds me a lot of Arkham Asylum. Come on, Batman, just bust through some doors. I know you can do it. Uh, another locked door. Yeah, you'd think Batman would just be able to bust through a door. Especially a wooden door. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand that. For some people, getting collectibles is just pointless. I, I personally enjoy doing it for like the, for completing, for me, I, I just enjoy completing every aspect of the game. I 
I just like I enjoy that satisfaction of completing uh completing a game. It's not always enjoyable, but um, it tasks you with uh, you know, you gotta. I got like over the years of completing various games, I've gotten pretty efficient about finding all the collectibles, how to like um, research where to find stuff quickly, and I just get through it pretty optimally. And also how to deal with uh, different challenges as well. But I mean, that's everyone has their, everyone has their own different style. That's just what I enjoy doing. No, at least in my subsequent my subsequent playthroughs, um, will go over a lot smoother. Because I'm like when I do a new game plus playthrough of this, um, I won't have to get any more collectibles or anything, so I can just focus on going through the main story and the side missions. And that should be a that should be a. Uh, a lot, much better experience. Oh wait, I don't, even need, I don't even need to go up here. Okay. But what I'll end up doing is, after I uh, after I go through um, normal difficulty 100%, um, I'll go through New Game Plus. Or no, after I go through this game 100%, my first playthrough, then I'm going to go through the Cold Cold Heart Story DLC. And then after that, I'll go through the main story again, New Game Plus, and then I'll go through on I Am The Dark Knight mode. And then I'll then I'll finish off the game by going through all the challenges with each character. Dead house. Okay. 